Saturday was the slowest, like, most painfully horrible, long day of my life. Um, you know that story in the Bible where, like, God stops the earth from turning and it stays day, like, light outside so that they can continue fighting until the war is over or whatever, however it goes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did that again. Except for this time it was his punishment on us. Because it was awful. Awful. We didn't know what to do. But every time we looked at the clock, it had only been like five minutes. Laura and I sat there and memorized like the names of the jewelry and the purses. All of it. It only took us 15 minutes. And I was like, never in my life has efficiency been such a, a torture device. Awful. Uh, I was so happy when 6 o'clock came around. Thankfully, didn't have work Sunday or Monday because of Memorial Day, which when I called and left a voicemail for someone, um, like I was in the middle of calling and leaving the voicemail on Saturday, and I was like, hi, this is Taylor with Daniel's Shoes. And I finished my little spiel that is so very well ingrained in my brain. And I'm about to hang up and Janet says, oh, tell them we're going to be closed Sunday and Monday. And I was like, we'll be closed Sunday and Monday for Labor Day. And then I hung up and I was like, crap, it's Memorial Day. I cut it wrong. When you try and change the spiel, things just don't quite go right. Um... Today was so much better. I went in at 10, even though I wasn't supposed to be there till 11, just because I lost the piece of paper that told me what my hours were. Ah. Good job. But Dan was just like, yeah, you can just stay. So I was like, cool. Great. Awesome. And we finished all of our menial tasks, like our daily things, calling people, all that jazz, within the first hour. And I was like, what are we going to do? But thankfully, Janet is like a saint, and she assigned me the job of going back into the stock rooms and checking, like, reorganizing the sale room boxes, and then checking to make sure that all of the shoes were in the sale room. Because a lot of times people put both the shoes back in the box. You're only supposed to have one shoe, the left shoe, in the box. And, um, yeah, I found, like, 14 shoes that were not in the sale room. It's a bad thing. So that was a fun job, and that took me, like, five hours, because in the middle of it, like, we rotated turns, and I went and I helped customers. So that took me most of my day, and it was nice to have a big project to do and like really feel accomplished, you know. Mm, I love it. Mm, my customers were pretty cool today. Can't think of any particularly disgruntled ones I had. I got to help another person in his car. Like, I didn't realize today how much I love just helping people because they were so thankful like that we were willing to go out to their car and help them. I don't care. I'm actually kind of digging it. I get to go outside. But they were so happy and that's, to me, that's a beautiful thing. Like, to know that you've done something to help someone so much. Anyway, I think I'll leave on a happy note tonight.